It's widely believed there was once a golden leaf gently floating around the sea. When it finally settled, it transformed itself into the island of Cyprus. Strategically positioned at the crossroads of three continents, Cyprus today is the jewel of the Mediterranean. Through the centuries, the island's people have developed a rich historical culture with strong social values. The geographical diversity of the island appeals to all tastes. From forest-covered mountains to a varied coastline encompassed by the Mediterranean Sea. This hidden oasis on the western coast of the island is sanctuary to a profusion of wild flowers and cool mountain streams. This is also the grape growing region where only the best is selected to make the finest wines. The Republic of Cyprus is considered by many to be one of the safest places to live. And when buying property here, well-established safeguards are firmly in place. Cyprus is considered to be one of the, if not the most safe, one of the safest countries in the world because we do have all the facilities to regulate the purchasing process, meaning that somebody when buys a property, he or she can deposit the contract sale with the land registry, they can appoint solicitors either from Cyprus or from abroad. So, I mean, all in all, it's a very sound uh, investment. And to be honest, we are in this market for the last 20 years. We haven't seen any incident of somebody investing with any developer and losing the property. Uh, I would advise a potential buyer to buy uh, from a serious company and uh, not to buy in the Turkish side. Uh, because I think it's not safe buying uh, in the other side of the island. Whilst the coastal towns of Cyprus enjoy the attraction of their seafronts, the capital city, Nicosia, boasts its own unique setting. The city's ancient past is well preserved and with a blend of the island's more recent history, Nicosia today is a thriving combination of old and new. Jonathan and Lindsay Twart have recently purchased property in the Republic of Cyprus and now live permanently in a suburb of Nicosia. Uh, my name is Jonathan Twart. This is my wife, Lindsay. We bought a house here in Nicosia three years ago. Um, we've been extremely happy here. Uh, th this was a, a private purchase, uh, a private uh, deal which we didn't go through developers. But because of that, it was necessary for us also to get a, a good legal representation to make sure that our investment was protected. And it was very easy because most of the lawyers, or 99% of the lawyers, are very fluent in English. And we had no difficulty in, in following the uh, checking on the, on the details and, and, and the whole program. And of course one wants to know that you can obtain uh, the correct title deeds and uh, all that goes into the development of the garden and everything else, you want to know that you have the title deeds and it's not difficult to obtain them. Europeans choose uh, Cyprus to buy a home uh, for various reasons. The most popular reason why they buy is because of the climate, because of the safety which we have in uh, Cyprus. The uh, people in Cyprus are very friendly. Uh, the beaches which we have, the archaeological sites, and many other factors which uh, they attract them, you know, for a safe investment, for their holidays, for the retirement, and so, so many other reasons. The countless villages scattered across the island each possess a charm of their own. Village lifestyle is a comfortable mix of tranquility and traditional hospitality.
buying a home in a foreign country is a big decision and it's important to know that the investment is safe and secure. When buying in the Republic of Cyprus, that security is guaranteed. I feel that confident about buying property in the Republic of Cyprus, um, I think is manifest by the fact that we've bought a second property now in Paramitha, which is a village outside of Limassol. And once the Council of Ministers had given us approval, it's, it, everything has gone through extremely well. Cyprus is one of the very few destinations where the snow-capped mountains can be conquered and the crisp blue sea challenged, all on the same day. The island's favourable weather allows for an array of sporting activities throughout the year. Sunshine and fun go hand in hand, but before leaping into the Cyprus property market, there are a few serious considerations to take into account. Uh, any prospective buyer of land in the occupied part of Cyprus uh, should uh, bear in mind that he's basically buying at his own risk. Uh, in other words, uh, let the buyer beware. Uh, there is no guarantee. Uh, at all, uh, that uh, the purchase and the investment uh, is a sound one. Uh, essentially, he gets a piece of paper uh, which, for all intents and purposes, is uh, worthless. Uh, so it is obvious, I think, that uh, since uh, the so-called TRNC is not recognized by any other country in the world, uh, any deeds, title deeds issued by the TRNC uh, are not recognized uh, by any country in the world and the international uh, community, especially the European Union. A British couple recently built a luxury villa on a piece of land they purchased in the Turkish-occupied north of Cyprus. The legal owner of the land is a Greek Cypriot and he now wants his land back. When I have discovered this uh, villa on my land, the experience was very distressful for me. Um, this land belonged to the family since my grandmother's time. And uh, as you understand, this place for me is, is a home for me. And that, in that respect, it's a place where I want to return back. And so all the changes for me, uh, the trespassing was very distressful. Uh, my client, Mr. Apostolidis, uh, is the owner of uh, some land in occupied Cyprus, occupied north of Cyprus. And um, there was a dividing line for 30 years and people were not allowed to cross. So three years ago, when uh, people were allowed to cross for the first time, Mr. Apostolidis uh, found out that an English couple um, were trespassing on his, uh, on his land. So he decided to bring uh, legal proceedings against them. Uh, he brought an action in the courts of uh, the Republic of Cyprus um, and uh, a judgment was handed in uh, November 2004. Um, the judgment ordered uh, uh, the defendants uh, to hand back the property, to demolish whatever it was that they had built without the owner's permission, also pay damages plus uh, legal costs. One has to remember uh, one has to remember that uh, there is uh, European jurisprudence, there's uh, uh, ju judgments from the European Court of Justice uh, which determine that the uh, ownership of these properties remain with the original owners. And the original owner in this case was uh, Mr. Apostolidis' uh, family. 
So if you, from any point that you see it, either from a European law or Cyprus law, uh, the owner is uh, Mr. Apostolidis. Uh, judgment was obtained and it was uh, Mr. Apostolidis decided that he wanted to try and have this judgment enforced uh, in the UK. Proceedings in the UK uh, were began, commenced uh, uh, in uh, last year, in October 2005, and we had a four-day hearing uh, in July 2006. Uh, we hope that judgment will be handed in uh, in September, and of course, we are uh, we hope for the best. We have one of the best uh, systems of land registration, I would say, in the world. Uh, the title deeds of uh, the, um, the Cyprus uh, land registry uh, are uh, worldwide uh, recognized. Uh, and indeed, uh, uh, bearing into mind also that uh, the court system uh, and the constitution uh, provide adequate guarantees uh, that this uh, system is maintained, uh, um, I would certainly feel very confident in investing in Cyprus rather than any other uh, country. The people of Cyprus have enjoyed a long history of warmth and hospitality. The safety of living here is unrivaled, and with a well-founded land registry system and an average 340 days of sunshine a year, property ownership in the Republic of Cyprus guarantees a safe investment towards your place in the sun.